I really don't know what to say at this point. Are we really surprised? They can make up a new illness every single day, and as long as it's in the news, on TV, the sheeple will believe it. Oh, uh, everyone's turning blue like a smurf. In order to cure yourself, you need to go to Home Depot and buy as much tan paint as you can afford. In case you haven't gotten the memo, a virus cannot transmit from an animal to a human. It is not possible. In fact, they hide the truth and information about what viruses actually are so people don't realize that you can't obtain them without being physically injected with one. If breathing on someone from six feet away through two masks made you sick, everyone would have it already. We don't have to talk back and forth if it's transmissible, what actually causes it, because you have two groups of people, the small percentage that are smart enough to recognize nonsense, and the rest of the people that won't listen to anything that isn't broadcast on television. That brings us to what this is about, our food supply. There have been many events over the past few months, I mean, and especially years and years and years as a whole, that show how vulnerable we are due to having our food in the hands of these elite psychopaths. From vegans pushing the narrative that meat is dirty and makes people sick, to them targeting meat processing plants with some type of radio wave technology to make the workers in those plants sick. And do we really have to read this study? We know what it says. Pigs are dangerous, meat is bad, everyone's going to die. What I'm curious about is why this was sent for review December 9th, 2019 and contributed on April 28th, 2020. This planning parallels back to every single thing that happens. There are traces of trials, studies, legislation, these bills passed in Congress months to years before these events occurred. You know, why was the legislation for the stimulus package passed before any of this happened? If any of what's going on in the world was legitimate, they would not have done these things in the past. It would have been done on the fly and true chaos would have ensued. They have essentially created a script that they are acting out and enough people cooperate that it works. This is just throwing more gasoline on the fire and still more panic and fear into the naive and gullible American public. Researchers in China have discovered a new type of swine issue that is capable of triggering a massive problem according to a study published in the US scientific journal PNAS. Named G4, it is genetically descended from the strain that caused the problem in 2009. It possesses all the essential hallmarks of being highly adapted to infect humans, says the authors. This is frustrating to someone with half a brain. It's like a mechanic telling you your car is not running because it needs a new engine, but you know the battery is just dead. By keeping the public stupid, poisoned and misinformed, they're able to take advantage of them, get them to believe anything, as opposed to calling out these experts on their nonsense. Oh, we need to trust experts and scientists and let them do their job. People talk crap about the government all the time, how the medical establishment is just trying to make money in most cases, how doctors are just keeping people sick, how incompetent government workers are as a whole in general, but that same authority when talking about this issue is trusted. It's the fear and psychological warfare that manipulates people into believing in someone they would normally never trust. Doctors do the same thing. At first, they suggest you take a statin or do a certain procedure. And every single time I've opposed a doctor's wishes, they immediately get aggressive, using tactics to either demean my intelligence or scare me into doing said procedure. They'll say you don't know better and that there's a good chance you'll have a heart attack. Yet, if you ask a doctor what the metabolic pathways of statins are, they probably couldn't explain the positives and the negatives. But again, by using fear and psychological warfare, you don't think, you just react. Well, this is, this is um, something we're, we've been keeping an eye on. Uh, this is called the G4 strain uh, of H1N1. So this is a descendant of the H1N1 that people may remember from 2009, 11 years ago. Uh, what happens in these situations, they've been doing surveillance in, in pigs uh, for some time, uh, really since 2011, and for the most part, they have not been finding any kind of strain of that was concerning. But there's this one particular which kept showing up over and over again uh, in pigs. And then they started to look at, at the workers, the pig workers, humans, and they found that it actually was present in a certain small, like around 10% of workers as well. So that's sort of where we are. What they haven't seen as of yet is any evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. 
So that would obviously uh, be critical, and if it doesn't ever spread human to human, I think this is not something that we're going to have to worry about. But this is um, this is real. I mean, this is what hunters do. They keep an eye on things like this, and there's all these sorts of surveillance programs going on around the world. Most of them we don't uh, talk about much because we don't want to freak people out, but this is one that we're definitely keeping an eye on. Now take a look at this article, the typical doublespeak gaslighting. One article says it's the end of the world, the next article says the opposite. But even in the title of this article, they're using psychological warfare. Potentially serious swine issue identified in China, not imminent threat. There's no reason for panic. Okay, but you put the text potentially serious, but then you said it's not an imminent threat. So you're intentionally misleading people with this article. Otherwise, why would you title it like that? Other scientists have chimed in, urging the public not to panic about a second global outbreak. There is no reason for panic and no imminent danger, tweeted Florian Kramer. These people are the ones publishing the news articles that control the public. They're pointing a gun at you and then saying, oh, don't worry, we're not going to shoot. Like, okay, then don't point the gun at me in the first place. Here is even more nonsense. New strain of swine spreading to humans in China, scientists say. Spreading in workers on pig farms in China and should be urgently controlled to avoid another issue. And look, this article uses a picture of a sad pig near some cages, implying that the animal is being tortured in some type of jail cell. <laughs> we see where this is going. The narrative, how they go about it doesn't really matter because whatever they do, as long as they broadcast it on TV, the public will believe it. The end goal is what we need to understand, what they are trying to do so we can prepare. Maybe they kill the pigs and you can't eat pork anymore. Maybe they say there's a cow sickness now, a chicken sickness now, all of the meat's infected and you can't eat meat anymore. And that lab-grown meat, lab-grown slop is safe and clean because it was made in a highly sterilized laboratory. Yeah, right. What about the ingredients in that lab-grown meat being grown in the field with manure, huh? They've been pushing various narratives for many years to try to get as many people to fall in line as possible. Since enough people haven't fallen in line, they have to push. And they will push until everyone falls in line. Don't want to go vegan? Okay, we're gonna poison the meat supply, make the animals sick, and claim that meat is dirty. Really? Wasn't the manure from those sick animals that are not safe to consume, used on the vegetables, grains, and plant foods. But people won't think that far. They won't. They'll just see that there's no meat on grocery store shelves and they'll believe what the media tells them. Don't want to get injected? That's fine. You just can't go into any public place for the safety of others. Don't want to suffocate yourself with a mask? Well, then you can't buy food in the supermarket. Don't want to have a USDA inspector breathing down your throat at the butcher facility? Oh, then you can't sell meat. It is not safe. I never realized how much vegans were on the forefront of this war against humanity. I never thought that they would actually try to take away meat so clearly. And the narratives these vegans are pushing that meat is unclean have more holes than Swiss cheese. And in the past, we might have seen some vegans be reasonable here and there like, oh, people can make choices and, and I choose to be vegan. But no, now they're just like, full on, oh no, meat is bad, meat is dirty, animals are getting tortured, we can't do this, we can't do that. It it's, doesn't make any sense. The environment, the moral, and the nutrition arguments for a vegan diet have all been thoroughly debunked. You know, the environment stuff is all a complete lie because they control the environment. The nutrition, we don't even have to go there when people literally die on a vegan diet. And the moral and ethical stuff is, well, what's more ethical? Cutting open one cow once a year or grinding up a bunch of rabbits, killing trillions and trillions of insects? There's no clear line. It's just nonsense. To me, veganism is another fear-mongering psychological warfare operation where you just get people to react as opposed to think because if you actually think about all of the arguments surrounding a vegan diet, more holes than Swiss cheese, as we said. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you know, if you want to support me, uh, you can check out all the stuff in the comments down below. Uh, I've been getting a little discouraged lately with what's going on, um, you know, how uh, YouTube hasn't been so nice to me and how I've been gang stalked and gaslighted by uh, groups of people again for calling out special interest funding. Uh, we'll see what happens over the next few months, but uh, as much as I'm trying to be optimistic, it's uh, it's tough. You know, when, when I spend, you know, my whole life doing things for other people and therefore doing things I don't really want to do, when all I'm met with is opposition and 
and, and more struggle because you know, you know, I, I need some support. I need support in some capacity, and uh, and I can only do so much myself.